I'm going to walk you through steps 31 through 40 of Free Code Camp's first project called, um, in their new responsive web design course called um, Learn HTML by Building a Cat Photo App. Okay, so for uh, step 31, it's going to ask us to make, it basically wants to make the text hate bold. So there's two ways to do that. There's the B tag and the strong tag. Um, but we want to use the strong tag is the best one for just making it, for putting some emphasis that's bold. So you can do either strong, but there's also B. Um, and they do this the same thing, but um, it's a best practice just to use strong when it's you're just trying to put a little emphasis on it. Okay, so the next one, it just wants us to add a third section after um, the second section. So we can see this is the opening of the first section, closing of the first section, opening of the first section, and down here is the closing of the second section. So all we're going to do is we're going to write section and then section, a closing section. So right here we want to fix this indentation because these two section tags should be on the same level because they're the same tag. So anything inside should be indented, but these ones should be the same. It's not required to make to go on to the next step, but it's just a best practice. Okay, so if you do have the money, it's Fruit Co Camp is super great. So make a donation. They'll ask you every few steps, um, but I mean, Fruit Co Camp is great. Um, yeah. Okay, so next, all we have to do is add an H2. We've done this a lot. A header two with the text cat form. So if we look down here, there we go, cat form. It's a new section. So now we have three things that are on the H2 level, cat photos, cat lists, and cat form. They're, they're three different sections. So this is like one section, right? We use those section tags. It's making a little bit of sense now. All of this is under the second section, even these H3, right? They're under the H2 header. So in the hierarchy, H2 is greater, and then these are sub headers. Um, and then we've got our third section here. So we're gonna add a form element inside. So form, and it just, if they don't say that it's a self-closing tag, just assume, it's, it's not gonna show anything here actually, um, but just assume that it's uh, it's got an opening and a closing tag. That's how most things are, um, but there are some exceptions, like the anchor tag for, um, sorry, not the anchor tag. Um, the image tag is a self-closing tag. So next, whenever we're gonna uh, submit the uh, form, we want it to send somewhere. So we're gonna have to add an action equals, and then we can just copy and paste this, right? So that it's asked us to add an action attribute. So we're just gonna add this link right there. It's not gonna change what it looks like here, but when we press the submit button, it's going to send our, all of our data to this link so that we can actually view whatever someone submitted on the form. Um, next, see it talks about a self-closing tag. So it's gonna ask us to add a input element. So nest, we gotta indent it. Input, and it's self-closing so we don't need anything else. And again, oh, there we go. The, the default input, I guess, is text right there. Um, so next we wanna actually specify that it is text. So type equals text, there we go. And I mean, it, it looks the same, but we just want to specify, um, it could be something else like a number or um, there's, a, a, there's a bunch of different things you can use with forms. Um, so next we want to do a name. So um, this is for submission. So when we receive the submission, we'll get the name. Um, so cat photo URL, there we go. Um, and so it's not going to change anything here again, but that uh, giving it a name of cat photo URL um, is, is going to help us when we receive the information for that link. So the next is a placeholder. This will actually change what goes here. So this attribute is going to be, it, it should be in gray color by default. Um, and it's before you start typing anything, it's just going to say, Hey, this is what we want to put here. You don't have to put it, but it's it, it's really nice for the end user to see. So now it says cat photo URL. Now I know what to put there um, when I'm filling out the form. Okay, so next is required. This is just gonna make it so that before you submit the form, um, you actually need to fill, put something in here. Um, otherwise, you can't submit the form. It's like 
if you're familiar with Google Forms, the red asterisk next to that's that signifies required. I mean, you could you could change what this looks like, but it acts as the it's a kind of the same thing where that's a question that to complete the form you need to do. All right, so that's steps 31 through 40.